And you heard what that lady in the previous hour who called in what she said. Eh? Yeah. yeah. She said she has what you call a health partner. Mm-hmm. A lady who encourages her to go to the gym, mm-hmm. keeps telling her, go to the gym, katumbo kana mea. Yeah. Hmm? Pouch. <laughs> Your pouch. Yeah, it's pouch. It's called a pouch. Pouch. I, I don't know. Yeah. But after oh, the baby, kuna kakitu kwa nakujaga. Eh? Mm. But si kana indanga. Kitambi. Ukifanyisha mazoezi. Mazoezi. Uki, uki tembelewa na your relatives wakupatia uji manjahe. Eh? Eh? Auta amini what will yeah. happen to you. <laughs> Avoid those things. It, and it's something that happens a lot. Mm. You meet your woman, you mm. meet your wife. She was looking like, hey, Cinderella. Cinderella. Mm. You guys get married. Mm. She gets the first baby. She gets the second baby. All of a sudden, you start looking at her differently. Mm. Especially men, you're very guilty of this. Mm. You start looking at her differently. Unanza kusema ti u una nona nona umejiachilia. Why have you let yourself go? Mm. And you start chasing after these two slay queens because you're looking at your wife and you're thinking mm. she doesn't look the way she used to look anymore. Mm. And there's so much pressure nowadays for women to maintain a certain figure, mm. a certain look. Mm. She has to look you like a spring chicken. Mm. Yes. And yet the same pressure is not on men. Mm-hmm. You see, there's a difference, Nani Mike. Uh, you know, men, Villa Walikwana from day one, yeah. they don't expect you to change. That's how we were designed. How can you not expect someone to change after having children? We expect you to look the same way. As for men, the more Haga Hugula, the better. And, and I see so many men in Nairobi mm-hmm. gallivanting around with their pot bellies. Mm, I'm very proud. Someone has a stomach so big, looks like he's nine months pregnant. Massage. Mannequin. Mannequin. Honestly, mm. ladies, do you pressure your men to hit the gym? Do you tell them, say, mm. and yewe, uh-uh, now something is off. Mm. Ukilala na tumbo, you swing like a pendulum. Siso. Siso. I want to find out this morning, eh, mm. whether or not you would leave someone because they gained weight. You met this person, yes, they were not as big as they look, but all of a sudden, that person has become, eh, has become a plus size. Mm. I want to speak to the men, in fact, this morning. Would you leave that, that girl of yours, that Gashugwa Kabebe, your wife, would you leave her because she has gained weight? Because I don't understand this double standard. Mm. You as a man, Katumbo Nakameesha too, keeps growing. When your wife gains a bit of weight, you start putting pressure on her. Would you leave someone because they gained weight? Give, give me a call. My number is 0711 in today and it's all about a certain double standard that we have as men. And when it comes in regards to weight. There are men who just look at their women na kazi ni kukomplain kila wakati uyu ananona nona tu. All she does is gain weight. And yet those same men are walking around with pot bellies the size of Mount Kenya and they will not even hit a gym. Instead, they start cheating on their wives, start looking for these ndogondogos who look like a dolly. And I don't understand why. I mean, seriously, there are women who have been left because of weight. For men, it's okay. No one complains when a man has a pot belly. Like in Bibiako Leoake Apate, that pot belly, it becomes a problem. And this is what I want to talk this morning to ladies. And men are like, ladies, do you feel the pressure to maintain a certain weight, a certain look? And I also want to talk to these men who are leaving their wives because of weight. Why? Why do you feel you need to leave someone because they've gained weight? There's an interesting tweet here. 
from Esther Wakamui, which is very true. She says uh, that sometimes you don't know that as a woman, you try your best to maintain a weight, but sometimes it's close to impossible because of things like the family pills or birth control pills that we use. And that's true. 0711 talk to me. Hello, good morning, Mike. Good morning. Okay, about um, our morning conversation. E? Uh, upai kuwacha mtu wati kwa sababu wati kitambi imetoka. Yes. Eh? Yes. Kama ukona pengine umeoa, mm. umemuwa wati wa mtiana, sindio? Ye. Haya, sasa hamehapata mtoto, wa kwanza, wa pili. Mm-hmm. Akipata hile kitambi, kuna ingina wanasamanga ni mataya. Ye. Sasa upai kumuwacha tijuwe hiyo. Kwanza unafaa kumuencourage ya fanyange matizi, hivi sata mbaka ipunguke, lakini kumuacha hiyo ni, ni hiyo ni bibaya juu sata. Hiyo sasa ni kama we unataka tu kukaa tu na slay queen. Then let me ask huh? you, do you mm-hmm. also, do you and as men, do you also go to the gym? Because even you, you get fat. Sorry? Do you as a man also go to the gym? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Mike. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you. You talk to me, Baba. Hey, uh, this is David Kangore. Yeah. Hey, yo, let your mama, you like it to an Afanya on a Giachiria. Yeah. Mutu and Apo Potom, Dodo, Moja, and Achiria, Mui, Ruzi, Sasa, and Ajua, I will make up Marisa Kali. Quavo, Tamuacha, Aki Giachiria. Pita Muacha, like in it, but as you might end up, I will come and get down the Akana. Na wewe kitambi yako? Ayangu na jua yangu ni bidi. <laughs> <laughs> so what what you saying is if a man has a kitambi ni bidi, mwanamke akiwa na kitambi is a, a bad thing. Unajua mwanamke sasa unakula anakula vitu nyingi mafuta na amekaa hapo chini tu hakuna kwa hivyo anafanya tano tumbo inakuwa kubwa. Kai. Haya, sawa sawa thank you. Okay, I'm making any. Mm-hmm. I'm a Salameka. Okay. Hmm? Kingangi? Yes. Are you hearing the double standard? Hmm. Eh? Ati yake ni bidi. Yes. Lakini ya mwanamuke ya pana. Hmm. Needs to go. Oh my word. Why, why, why do we have this double standard? You, you're willing to, to even leave your woman because, oh, you're starting to chase a mnije? Because your wife has gained some weight, but you are not even willing to start even hitting the gym. Keep calling on 0711 Talk to me, eh? And I want to speak to ladies also. Do you feel that pressure? Do you feel the pressure to maintain a certain weight? Definitely, it's a habit that a lot of men have. Calling their women out on their weight. Instead of helping her, if it's really a problem for you, instead of very well, going ahead and helping her, going to the gym together, nyote mupunguza vitambi, you are there castigating your wife because she's gained weight. What is she supposed to do? She's on birth control pills. She's given birth to a child. Maybe she's having hormonal issues and her weight is being affected you you just go ahead and you start castigating her you start cheating on her just because she's gained weight there's a tweet here and the tweets from men today are just uh, really really crazy eh? listen to this one from Len saying some ladies wame jiachilia sana kwanza wale wame olewa what do you mean wame jiachilia hmm there's a one here from a gentleman called Makana. You're saying, uh, Usiite kitambi tena, inaitua front office. Na hawa wasichana wanapenda kupapasa papasa yu front office. Kama pakawaduka. Ayaye. Hmm? Why is there this double standard? When you get the kitambi, you don't want to be told as a man. When your wife gain some weight it becomes an issue eh kingangi mm. kuna malu unasemaga liwe liwalo 
What do you mean, Liwe Liwana? They just decide to, you know, especially after the second child in our tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so even Mwangeli should maintain a slim, slim body. Yeah, but na kuna zile unasemaga. Hai dhuru. Seven eleven zero four six one zero five. Talk to me this morning, eh? How are you? I'm very well. What's your name, my dear? I'm Purity. I want to contribute. Uh, go ahead, Purity. Okay, it happened. Mm-hmm. My husband uh, for, got a job in Nairobi. Yeah. And then he rarely comes home. Mm-hmm. And all this is when he got this weight. All this happened when you gained weight. Eh. Yeah. He changed automatically cause. Eh. Uh-huh. Akiendaga alikuwa mtu slim. Eh. Uh-huh. Lakini siku hizi amepata weight, uh-huh. akona katitambi. Mhm. Uh-huh. Alafu hata uh, kukuja nyumbani ama kutuma doa hizi. And do you, so, do you tell him to go to the gym? I told him to do that. Like, but, like, in your ski. Okay. So, uh, thank you. Classic 105, hello. Hey, how are you, sir? I'm very well. Talk to me. Yes, and I want to talk to you. You know, I want to talk to you. My wife, I want to talk to you. And I want to talk to you. And I want to talk to you. And I want to talk to you. But as we have been for the last couple of years, I want to talk to you. Wait. Uh-huh. Na hii ikuongeza kilo zake mm. sio kwa mape, okay sio kwa mapenzi yake ni eta stress imeisha uh-huh. ama maisha ikwachio amekupaliana na maisha <laughs> unaona sasa uh-huh. <laughs> so tuko na watoto wawili nao ukichwa mama kizaa yes wengi huwa wanaongeza weight lakini mimi nimefurahia hiyo you you like when the, when she gains weight okay kitambo nilikuwa napendanga siri muredis lakini sahi sahi sasa tu hiyo ilikuwa ndiyo my test lakini sahi sasa fila meongeza na amekuwa mkubwa sana mhm ai isiwezi isiwezi mutoroka ila kitu sasa ndesataka ni mendeni ni ya siongeza saidi mhm akwe overweight extreme and for you do you also maintain your weight sorry do you also maintain your weight um when we okay uh, for the last five years i've uh, i've added almost 10 kg you've added 10 Pro, kilograms yeah yeah i'm now 92 from uh, from uh, from it at one yeah uh and i'm not you know that i'm just eating uh, food that uh, adds weight but i don't know where that, where that weight is coming from Ah, yeah. so so me i want you to do this if you want or enjoy sleep women i want you to also start hitting the gym so that you go back to how you used to be isikuwe 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 jukumu ya bibi peke yake hiyo itakika ni kwe ni jukumu ra hata sisi netekana tunachichunga yes very true yeah i'm dagras mogira for the good day